Hey guys, I'm just coming back to you. Uh, I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while now. I wanted to come in and share with you guys some of the things that I keep in my travel bag at all times. Like this stuff, I keep it in there and I do not take it out. All right, let's get started. My ride or die banana clip. This thing looks simple. It's real cheap. Um, you can get them on Amazon. You can find these at uh, any most of the beauty supply stores. This is the style banana clip that I prefer. I like this size and then there's a smaller size. Anyone will do. I always get, either get, um, this one came in the pack. It was black, uh, the clear white, and then a tortoise shell. Those three work perfectly fine in my hair color. I don't get the fancy colors because I really don't want the banana clip to show. Um, this is just something that is just so easy to use. I like to wear it for my side cascading ponytails, my low cascading ponytails, my faux hawk, my half faux hawk <laughs> cascading ponytails. And um, yeah, perfect. Recently, I've added the puff cuff. Oh my goodness, you guys, I am not lying. These things come in so friggin' handy. Because I can put this in my hair and wear it for like several days without even taking it out. So, for example, this wash and go. I can put my hair up in a pineapple, sleep on it, get up the next day and not touch it. If I want to spruce up my baby hairs or edges, I can do that and I'm out the door. I don't have to worry about this. It doesn't get tangled or anything. So I do keep this. This is the Puff Cuff Junior. Another thing that I keep, tuck combs. I keep two of these in my travel bag. Abundance of style with some tuck combs. Just real simple and easy. Hair pins. Not bobby pins. For me, bobby pins, I, I, bar I, I barely use them anymore. Hair pins are my essential. These are premium hair pins that I purchased a long time ago. Did a review on them a long time ago. About three years maybe. They don't have the little knobs at the top. So I don't have to worry about throwing them out as soon as the knob starts to wear. Because those things, you'll buy them over and over again and spend more money. I think I bought these for 7 or $8.00. And I think 250 came in the pack, um, three different sizes, and they're still hanging in there. And yeah, I keep those with me. I will leave a link uh, where you can get these below. I want to say you can get them off Amazon. I got mine off Sally's, and but that was a long time ago. I presume they're still there. I always keep some sort of elastic band. Perfect for emergencies, perfect for a high puff, perfect for a low puff. If you want to put a bun, you can do that. You can also bun with these. Very simple and easy without even using hairpins. Ugh. I did a couple videos on them already. Those are my basic essentials for styling. If I have absolutely nothing else, those are the things that I can go to and I can create something out of nothing. I usually travel with loose hair. I'm not like a natural who always has to have installs when I go on vacation because I'm not always in the mood for braids. And to me, you know, people say, I don't want to be dealing with my hair. Well, to me, I'm not dealing with my hair if it's in a wash and go. I'm not doing anything other than maybe pushing it back up or side to the side, whatever. Um, which is the same thing I would be doing with twist. I always style my installs. Hey guys, I'm interrupting just to announce our Accented Glory giveaway winner. Please help congratulate our sis, Debbie D. Debbie D, you are the winner of the Accented Glory giveaway. Check the description on how to claim your prize. P.S. I have included a few extra goodies in your box. Smooches! Now on to our regularly scheduled programming in terms of uh, styling products i only carry like an old pill bottle with my favorite gel in it i've had the same gel in my um travel bag for like four years it has gone a long way and then i keep a bottle like this of oil water aloe vera and i spritz that on my hair when i want to moisturize it I like to keep things very light. In terms of sleeping, what I do, 
I keep one of these. This is an infinity wrap. These come in so handy because I usually stovepipe my wash and goes. I typically don't pineapple them, so I stovepipe them in one of these. You can use this to create several different hairstyles. That's why it comes in handy. Also, if you don't have one of these, instead of using this, you can actually get you a pair of stockings, cut the legs off, and use the waistband and the waist area, you know, the body area, to stovepipe your wash and go up. It actually keeps the wash and go, the curls from underneath the wash and go from stretching out and losing its definition. So they last a little bit longer. If you uh, don't have in either of those, you can also opt to carry a satin pillowcase. What I would suggest, if you do take a satin pillowcase, make sure when you bring it back home, you sanitize it, sterilize it, whatever you have to do, wash it. If you don't know, I just have a thing about transferring hotel stuff to home. So I just wanted to bring that up. Just go ahead and clean it. If you don't have that, a satin scarf is actually even better and more lightweight because what you can do, you can use this for different styles. You can pineapple your hair with this or better yet, you can lay this on the pillow. And if you want to secure it in place, which you really don't have to, you can take um, safety pins and pin it on to the underside of the pillow and just lay it on top. If you want me to show you how to do that, just let me know. Now, I typically do not carry a uh, toothbrush with me, but you can carry a toothbrush. I like to keep it as simple and light as possible. I don't really finagle with my baby hairs as often as I used to. Um, I'm think I'm starting to back into it, but it's been so long, so I really just kind of left the toothbrush home. Um, I figure push come to shove, I could just use the tuck combs and do one of these numbers. It's not that critical to me. And then I could put, you know, the, the gel on and wrap my hair up in a scarf right quick and call it a day. But a toothbrush is perfectly fine. I hope you found my video helpful. If you would be so kind as to share your natural hair essentials that you keep in your travel bag down in the comments below, it would be great if we could swap tips. Also, if you happen to know of or have uh, products or items that you feel are multifunctional, include that in the comments also. Those are always the best and you get more bang for your buck. Until the next video. Live simply and be kind.